Hello, this is Lesson 26 and uh, CSR or no CSR or being ethical or not being ethical. So this is the question here. The managers of a public limited company believe that it is important for the business to behave ethically. To what extent do you think that an ethical approach to businesses in making is now essential for managers and PLCs? Okay, well, you know, this is actually a, 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 a pretty good essay to get hold of. So you're going to start off by saying, uh, well, there is a shareholder value theory and the shareholder value theory says it's all about profits shareholders want profits shareholders want dividends so therefore it's the job of, of business to make as large amounts of money as possible and they need to do that they need to look after all of the employees the the the, the customers and the suppliers uh, however <clears throat> right this may now be changing because there's now closer scrutiny on a business uh, volkswagen decided to be um, have a CSR strategy that was very, very popular and they had to build up a good brand, but then it was blown apart because uh, it was found out that they were breaking the law. But actually, shareholder value theory also says that you need to at least comply with, with the law in terms of what a firm does. So I think you would probably argue that uh, most companies, most companies need to be aware that they need to be ethical in terms of the decisions that they make. They may well get away with it, e.g. a really good example of that is Primark, who is known for low prices, they're in a very, very competitive market, so they may be less ethical in other, than with other companies, so they may get away with it. But eventually their brand may be hit by what happened in Bangladesh, where uh, their workers were working in the building, the building collapsed and it killed loads, and it killed loads of workers. Okay, number one on here, shareholders want profit. Okay, however, some shareholders also want to be ethical. So the shareholders themselves may scrutinise the firm and may start asking questions of it. Uh, shareholders have become, have become a little bit more interesting now when the banks, uh, they missold their payment insurance and they charge higher interest, rate than that, high interest rates than they should have done, then they, uh, they took over people's houses a little bit too early. So... The behaviour of businesses is now much more important, there's much more social media out there, so therefore you can quickly create a bad name for yourself. And the same with Tesco's and suppliers. So if you just worry about profits, then actually in the long term your profits may be hit if you don't look after your other stakeholders anyway. Employees may like ethical companies. It may be the case that employees will not go and work for an ethical company, will not go and work for a company that's not, that's not ethical. Particularly, uh, I, th I still think people want to go and work for banks because they know they can earn big bucks. But maybe uh, not so much in, in other companies if, if you are in fact given a choice. And yeah, and then, I, and then I'll probably end up with the example of, v of Volkswagen who clearly gained from an, an ethical approach until they, were, until they were found out. So I suppose it, it depends a little bit on the company. We would not expect Primark or maybe Ryanair to be ethical. Although a lot of these companies, Unilever, M&S, General Electric and Body Shop, they have made the, their business to be ethical, which is morality and decision making, and they've actually gained from that and they've actually saved money. So it's worked, it's a win-win situation. And then I'll probably end up with, well, not all managers will behave ethically anyway with, within, within, within companies, okay? Right, thank you. This lesson 26 over.